is the kind of town too small for speed limits, for a non-volunteer fire department for liberals. And four boys died in my town last month. Number one, I wrote you into a story two weeks earlier. We always had parties in your barn and then jumped into your swimming pool and onto your horses. You're 22 years old, fit, out for a run and collapse. My best friend's dad, the one to identify your mother because, to identify you because your mother couldn't. Number two, suicide. Black boy, one of the few. And your brother writes a rap for you that night, posts it on Facebook. We all share it and like it and like your profile picture. And how much we all love you now. And how surprised we are that it was you and not this town that got to you, though maybe it was this town, number three, drove into a pond on my road at 7 a.m. in the morning. They say alcohol was probably the problem. I think water was maybe a problem. I think drowning was maybe a problem. I think this town was maybe a problem. They say it was the pond, that we should have known that in this pond you never put a pond across from an intersection because boys are often drunk at 7 a.m. in the morning and cannot see, even though the sun is rising, young boys who have just entered the military, who are champion wrestlers, who are the brothers of the boy I kissed in the seventh grade in the movie theater. I know number four because I kissed him in the back seat of his car. Number four died in the back seat of his car. Number three taught him. So when young boys die in this town, it is always because God wanted to see them sooner, never because they drink too much. Mm -hmm. Everyone always wanted to hang out with number one after all, so God must have just wanted to see him sooner. If I kill myself in this town, it will be because God wanted to see me sooner the day number two dies. I find a pro and con list for suicide in my seventh grade notebook. Con. Don't accomplish much. Pro, don't feel much. Con, don't be remembered. Pro, don't be remembered. Mm -hmm. That was years ago. And lately, I tell everyone that I have been living in epiphanies in a fucking Oprah magazine. <laughs> Four dead boys enough to finally teach me Hallmark, sappy, happy. This is the only life we've got. All February, I thought, about how badly I wanted to go home this summer. Watch thunderstorms from my front porch or sit on my dock with my fish biting at my toes. And then when I went home, everything felt slow, felt small, like all you can eat pancakes after church at the volunteer fire department, small, like all of my friends have tried shrooms now and they tell me they all really understand themselves, small, like for all of Yale, I felt guilty for not being with them or one of them, small, like we all know the four boys that died. <laughs> when I went home, for the first time, I was not embarrassed about coming back from a fucking castle from privilege, from I'm really, really stressed all the time, and we're all really, really successful, because these aren't problems. Everyone's going to die, and that can be a good thing. That can be a fucking great thing, because no one cares a fuck about where we go to college or what we're going to grow up into, if we'll be accomplished or if we felt the right things. There are always going to be towns too small to see outside of themselves. Castles too beautiful to see outside of themselves. And they're always going to be filled with a whole lot of people who just want to love. 